I'm Tyrone Roderick Williams, director of the Sacramento Prama Zone, and I'm here with David Soban. He's the founder and director, creator extraordinaire of Wide Open Walls. And Wide Open Walls is an opportunity to bring art and cultural expression, not only throughout the whole city of Sacramento, but today we're focusing on art in the Sacramento Prama Zone. Welcome, it's a privilege to be here in front of one of the mules talking about wide open walls. Can you just tell me how did wide open walls go from a vision to becoming realities throughout the Prama Zone and around the city? Well, you know, it took a lot of things. One was an, an investment um, from the neighborhoods, an investment from sponsors to be able to pay for the things that are important. Being able to pay for the artist's talent so they can come and they can paint and do their best job, taking care of all their so supplies um, and materials and equipment is also important. When we put them in a neighborhood, we want them to be completely prepared. Well, you talk about putting them in a neighborhood and throughout the Sacramento Prama Zone, from Del Paso Heights down through the River District, through Midtown, all the way out to Oak Park and the avenues, there are murals all over the city. And Wide Open Walls is bringing art and cultural expression in a whole new way that's transforming art in our city. And just talk to us, how do you find, let's just two part question. How do you find the artist and then how do you find the walls? That's truly one of my favorite parts of the job is being able to curate the right artist with the right message, in the right neighborhood, on the right wall. So it takes, I said, like I said, an investment from that neighborhood um, or an investment from the, the, the building owner. So once that's decided, we take a look at all the different walls and, and decide, are we working on a specific uh, messaging, specific images for that neighborhood? And then we ask them to create something for us, which then again gets approved by the person who's paying for it or the person that owns the building. And talk to us about the artists because we've got artists from around the world sharing their talents on walls here in Sacramento. So how do they even find out about the opportunity and how do you find out that they even exist? Well, when, it's, when we first started out four years ago, it was a little bit more difficult because we didn't have a reputation for being a city with a lot of murals. Even though we did have a lot of murals, there wasn't a lot of attention focused on it. So now that we have um, some backbone, we've got years of producing this festival, we have an incredible amount of people that, that basically apply to paint. We had over 400 people to apply to paint from locally to all over the world this year. And out of those, we picked about 50, 50 and a couple artists that came and participated. We usually use more than half of our artists are local, mm -hmm. and then we try to get regional artists and then some superstars from around the world that bring more attention to the festival also. Well, I've seen some of these murals and they range from huge to just kind of a personal size. And right. we're standing in the front of a mural uh, right here. Tell us a little bit about Mabel. Mabel Vincentif, uh, in a, kind of a great story. She'd been following our Instagram and following the festival for years. She didn't apply, but she was in Oregon and made a quick phone call to me and got a hold of me. And I looked at her Instagram and couldn't believe that she got passed over. She showed me the image, I showed her a wall. We just kind of put something together last minute. I bust her down from Oregon and she came and painted and um, stuck her on an airplane about three or four days later so she could keep on her journeys. But she's an artist of incredible talent that does a lot of, uh, it looks like, you know, brush work. There wasn't mm -hmm. a lot of spray paint in that, a lot of brush work where she does a lot of portrait work. Mm -hmm. And that translates many, many times to something this significant on a wall. So we're very lucky to find her this year. She well, found us. Well, this mural, you can just sense the feeling or the meditation or the thought that this woman is having and the ideas that are flowing through her mind to nature and water and just paddling down a quiet stream. And look at, and the, then, and look at the trees. And, in, right? and encompassed I mean, the trees by that she's a can canopy of trees. Yeah. So in the Prama Zone, approximately how many murals do you have at this point, I know you said this is like your fourth year Correct. in this, but approximately how many murals are you? We are over 50 murals. So over almost 50. half of the murals that we paint are painted in underserved areas like the Prama Zone. So that's free art to the public. One of the focuses that we have on the Prama Zone is access to art and cultural expression. And each mural is an individual expression that enhances, in this case, a parking lot 
but collectively the Promazone and the city of Sacramento. Yeah, Talk they're also they're also like messages of love too. Yes. I mean, you when you take an artist that literally could spend anywhere from maybe the minimum of three days to sometimes even more than two weeks. This is an expression of their love, their gift to our city. Mm -hmm. So I think one thing that's really important for me to do is make sure that we thank the artists, whether they're locally, whether they, they've traveled from around the world to do this, but this is a true gift from them to be able to do something so special for our city. Well, for those who have not come to Sacramento and maybe you've seen a mural and didn't even know how it got there or why it's there, how can people find out where all the murals are throughout the city and in the Promise Zone? Technology. All right. Technology. Um, you're either going to come to visit and jump on a jump bike or on a bicycle or go for a walking or a running tour, or you can go to the website. So the website was created this year, something special from Position Interactive, um, a local company here. Um, you can pick out the neighborhoods you want to go to. You can pick out the artists by theme, and it will literally produce a customized tour map for you that you can drive with, walk with, or run with. And how do they find your website? How about WideOpenWalls.com? Well, that's easy enough, WideOpenWalls.com. I encourage you to go and visit the website, but even more, come and visit the mural. Well, as I always say, it's a beautiful day in the Promise Zone.